Crystallization by Alyssa. So here are some photos from my experiment. So down here is the setup when I first set it up after um, boiling water and then adding some salt in it until no more salt would dissolve and then pouring that liquid into a glass, excluding the salt like in the bottom of the pan. This is what it looked like after two hours and this is what it looked like after six hours. And as you can see, there are crystals right there and right there along the string. So an evaluation of how effective this experiment was. So you can create five different salt crystals, each using a slightly different method and label each cup. The first will be made in water that has not been boiled at all. The second will be made in cold water. The third will be made with boiled water, but any salt piled up inside the pot will be poured into the glass with the string. The fourth will be made with boiled water, but will be put into the fridge immediately after the string is dipped inside the cup. And the fifth will be made using the method I did, which was boiling water and then leaving the cup out in the cool area and not including any salt left in the bottom of the pan. So after letting all the crystals sit for 24 hours, compare the crystals different properties, which is the largest, which has the most spikes, the hardest and the most delicate. And then using those results, you can see the different, how different methods of creating crystals, despite them all using the same ingredients, may create different results. So the chemistry of crystal making. So it's basically based off of solubility and sol uh, solutes are more soluble, which is easier to dissolve when they are placed in a liquid that is hot compared to a liquid that is cold. So once a saturated hot liquid is completely cooled, the solutes are now not soluble anymore. And since the liquid is now cold, they will attach itself to form crystals, hence them forming crystals on the string. So the reverse reaction, you are able to do the same process except backwards if you want to turn a crystal into a liquid once again. Simply heat the crystal up until it is hot and it will eventually melt back into its original state. This will vary based on the melting point of this compound. So overall, that is the chemistry of making crystals and how my project did. Thank you.